Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I know that I was naughty at times and uh, towards the British Army or uh, military prowess, okay, or rather, and I know that um, that hurt some people's feelings, but uh, I didn't say anything that was not true. I just said it out loud and they might not have liked it. And that is um, factual. You can verify that. Um, Great Britain does not fight without the United States of America. Uh, the last time when they fought alone was against Argentina and it was in 1980-some. So that was a long time ago. Uh, since then, they have never fought anybody without being in a coalition. And they're the first ones that are dragged by their little balls into the fray by Al Capone. The same thing happened right now with the Houthis. And I made some claims that Great Britain is a 68-69 year old former world champion who, think, who thinks that he still has it. And he's like, oh, let me show you some uh, uppercuts right here. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, that's how they are. Why? Evidence. Uh, maybe you can say, well, we, we, we were smart. Well, you were not smart in this history until what? After the First World War? You were always not smart. You were always, not always, when you fought Napoleon, you really always fought him with the coalition. All right, so that's a different. But uh, other than that, you were tough, man. You were by your on your own. You were doing whatever. Well, you got your ass kicked here, but it's a different story. Overall, Britannia was there, was an empire. Well, you fucked it after the uh, Second World War, clearly. All right, the Second World War, you screwed it. Yeah, you beat Hitler. Congratulations, Churchill. And then you, he, you up. All right, nevertheless, what's going on here? This is an article from The Telegraph. It is from today, January 27th, 2024, Saturday. And Saturday, uh, we have this article where they, they make a claim and I will analyze it in two ways. And I will, tell, I will tell you what ways. Here it is, The Telegraph, January 27th, 2024. British warships, plural, lack firepower to attack Houthi land targets. Uh, what are you going to say about that one? So, they lack firepower. They said it. Houthis, have you seen how tough Houthis are? You can't take them on by yourself. You are with the Americans. Nevertheless, put it aside. Now, why would the Telegraph say that? Well, I think it's two reasons. One, they want to fool the baboons, telling them, see, we are depleted. So therefore, we're going to get some taxes from you or we're going to borrow some money to uh, m create a military force that we used to be more than 100 years. No, no not even. Uh, let's say close to 100 years. If we take, let's say, 1945, eh, okay, less. But nevertheless, uh, the, that's the, 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 first, the, the first reason. And the other one is um, maybe, you know, it's just a, a reality and they just wanted to... Uh, show us that they are weak. So either the interest is, man, we are really sucking, you know, we need to really get our act together for real, or the other one, it could be related, man, we are bad, we are, oh my God, we can't beat the Houthis, man, but those guys in the desert over there, we can't, but we need more investments. So you go over there, you pay your taxes more, nothing for you back, no, 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 but we have to replenish our military. We have to rebuild it under the Zelensky Stein uh, Grant Shops. Your defense minister, <laughs> because he's English. I'm sorry, he's Welsh. No, no, he's Scott. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's Irish. My bad. <laughs> neither. Neither nor neither. No, 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 no. Okay, whatever. So the guy is going to get you in a bigger war with what? With Russia? You're going to have nuclear weapons, American nuclear weapons on your territory, it seems like. So let me show you. Let's read a little bit. Uh, this article, so we see in what direction they go. They're going to say, well, we're bad, therefore we have to invest. You have to invest in your children for your defense, because the Russians will definitely attack you. Not. If they're going to attack you, you're going to need one bomb next to your aisles, a big bomb. 
and I'm going to wash the whole thing. They don't even have to be accurate. Britain, Britain's warships cannot attack Houthi targets on land because they lack the firepower in a situation described by former defense chiefs as a scandal. None of the Royal Navy's destroyers or frigates have the ability to fire missiles at targets on land, leaving the US, like always, to carry out the majority of strikes on Houthi targets with support from rough planes based 1,500 miles away. What are you doing in that neighborhood? Eh, you know, protecting us and our standard of living. A British defense source said HMS Diamond, ooh, diamonds are forever. <laughs> Shirley Bessie, Welsh, like Tom Jones. The destroyer stationed in the Red Sea had not joined retaliatory strikes on Houthi targets because it did not have the capability to fire to land targets. Holy moly. But why did they go over there? They were supposed, that was the, that was the, the whole reason to hit those guys over there and protect the vessels. How? Hit them things in the air, but they can't hit them in the territory. Maybe they are the same technology like 1946. <laughs> the Ministry of Defense, MOD, this is your shops, okay, said it had instead been directly involved in successfully destroying Houthi drones targeting shipping in the red. A drone, Jesus Christ, have you seen a drone fly 50 kilometers per hour at most? I, I, if I go take my bike, I can go 50 miles per hour uh, on a downslope. <laughs> That's how f and we hit them. Yeah, you can hit them with a low ammunition, with low weaponry. A drone. You don't need to use uh, lasers. And I tell you, these guys are a technology of 1946. <laughs> Still. Oh, fuck. Directly involved in successfully destroying Houthi drones. Oh, vey. Congratulations, Professor Higgins. Or Higgins, which one is this? This weekend, this was from what? From. Uh, uh, sound of Music, was it? Uh, this weekend, the British-linked container ship caught fire. Okay, and they are do, doing what? Nothing. One former rear admiral suggested British inability to strike the Iran-backed Houthis movement bases from the warship highlighted how the Navy would be unable to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chinese and Russian warships. Hey, don't even, don't even dare to use Russia and China in the same sentence with you. You are with Albania, Romania, Hungary, Zimbabwe. This is your level. But you think you're there. Uh, remember the 68? Oh, yeah, well, I'm still having it. No, we don't have it. You don't have it. Well, you're better than Albania. Okay, I give you that. <laughs> I give you that one. But don't even try China or Russia. Don't even try. Currently, the only weapons on destroyers can be fire, can fire at all other ships or land are artillery guns. You know what an artillery gun is? Second World War. At the front of each vessel, while US destroyers can fire tomahawk guide missiles at land, uh, land target. You see what you have? Artillery guns. A boom. Boom. That's what you got. Second World War. <laughs> German made Krupp. <laughs> the UK's only options for such strikes are developing. Planes and sub deploying planes and submarines, five of which were reported to be unavailable at one point in the autumn. Why? Diversity, I think, is your strength too. <laughs> Diversity hires. My God. Tobias Elwood, the former chairman of the Commons Defense Committee, warned that the situation was unsustainable and urged, urged, there he is, my boy, Grant Shapps. The defense secretary to conduct an urgent review, and here's where the money is gonna be. We can't continue to do this with a surface fleet that's too small and it cannot fire on land at range, Mr. El Elwood said. He wants a position. Admiral Sultani Rad Radakin, he's an idiot. I uh, covered him in uh, another video. I remember an idiot when I cover him. Now, the head of the armed forces were among Navy chiefs warning of a need to speed up our acquisition process. It was not hard. I'm not going to put a medal. For weapons, including land attack missile systems. Five years ago, when he was first sea lord, lord, there he is. There is your English guy right there. He's your Irish, Scott, Welsh guy. 
<laughs> What's that? Is that the Talmud? <laughs> Going to read it to the House of Commons or the House of Lords? Uh, I think the House of Commons is beneath you. Wait, you're going to go straight to the other guys. Unelected. <laughs> All right, let's see. During the first few months of Boris Johnson's premiership, Sir Tony publicly advocated replacing Harpoon anti-ship missiles with a weapon that could be used to attack land targets. Money. However, the Harpoon was uh, retired from the Navy last year and its temporary replacement, the Norwegian-made Naval Strike Missile, which can hit land targets, has only been installed on one vessel. <laughs> it was a joke when it was about Albania when the communist Romania and that was for other countries. Well, we are, we are uh, attacked by the Americans. Okay, send the aviation, send the military, send the jets. Uh, sorry, we can't send them. Why? Why we can't send them? Why can't we send the jet, the fire, fighter jets? Well, the pilot is sick. <laughs> you get one vessel. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was right. I want all those guys who were upset with me in the comments that I don't read, but I can have a gut feeling because I don't have time, not because I don't I disrespect you. I really don't have time. Okay, those bad, especially bad comments, I, you know, anyway, uh, those to apologize right now because I need apologies. <laughs> yeah, I, I run on apologies. Oh, damn it, if I would be like that, I would not be here anymore. <laughs> oh, fuck. So far as part of a trial, it's not even functional. It has yet to be fired. Oh, evey. Eventually, it will be rolled out to 11 free. Eventually, when? And destroyers before new cruise missile system is expected to be introduced 2028. So you're, you're going to do exactly what I say. What's up, buddy? Buddy, you're late. Go. Fool those guys. Yeah, they want uh, dollars into uh, euros. Go. <laughs> A former senior defense chief said, it was scandalous that Navy ships were not currently equipped with surface-to-surface -surface missiles. What'd I say? The ex-chief said, it's clearly a scandal and completely unsatisfactory. This is what happens when the Royal Navy is forced to make crucial, de crucial decisions which can affect capability. The UK is now having to fly rough jets thousands of miles to do the job of what a surface-to-surface -surface missile can do. Now they're bu building the case to invest. Let's see when... When are they going to say they will need it? Let's see. Uh, he said the naval misses a fudge. It is a striking shot. The real worry. You need to look at the effect. Instead, we're going to say it's going to... The point is you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Correct. And at the moment, we have the knives. Okay. I wonder when they're going to say here that we need money. All right, uh, that is embarrassing. With all the most important naval capabilities, so we're bad. <laughs> this is when they hit uh, those two vessels in, uh, oh my God, backing up the second incident. All right, um, shops, it is our duty to protect freedom of navigation in the Red Sea and we remain as committed to the, 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 that cause as ever. No, it's because of Israel. Uh, that, uh, this is the second thing. Israel, that's why you brought your things over there in the first place. Remember, that's what they said to defend them from Houthi hitting Israel. So shops, shut the fuck up. All right, let's see. Equally, we have already shown with our typhoon capability that we are a leading force among our allies. <laughs> okay, we are proud of our brave servicemen. This is propaganda. And for all they're doing is nonsense to suggest anything except that we are playing a key role. Well, you have one vessel. Well, they didn't go uh, yet to cl clearly say, well, we're going to do, uh, we're going to need about 20 billion dollars but they said we need to you know we have a uh, rusty navy and if i remember correctly and i know i remember correctly the british navy was was and i think it's still i don't know if it still is but was the most formidable um, force in the world for centuries but britain the english ruled the seas that was by definition they beat everyone on the seas uh, in, how was that the uh, invincible armada right was that how it's called uh, that or they d destroyed everybody and napoleon lost when he tried to come from uh, to fall over there in uh, um where was it uh, egypt he got fucked and not only he said if i have napoleon said if i have i need 48 hours of clear skies without the british navy and i conquer great britain well you didn't have that one <laughs> so that's it 
Um, no, the British were always the best in the sea. And now to see that situation, that confirms what I said. Why? Because I'm telling you what I know, my friends, and it seems like I know things better than these guys are willing to give you the information. And I know patriotism, I, love, I know love of your country, but with this kind of delusional uh, patriotism, uh, Albania is going to win uh, if they uh, fight you in the Adriatic Sea. All right, so I don't want that to happen. Why? For certain reasons. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Go and invest. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.